Okay, right here with me is the Google Pixel 3 XL and so Google today is bringing the 4th beta of Android 12 to all the Pixel device and some of the other manufacturer brands and so with Android 12 beta 4 there will be even more improvements and also better stabilities and yes with the Android 12 beta 4 on uh, Android 12 is finally in its platform stabilities which means all APIs or all app-facing behaviors are all finalized. So let's stop the talking and we'll get Pixel 3 XL updated to the beta 4. System update, update available. This update will install the beta versions as usual. SPB4.210715.011 so as you can see after android 12 beta 3 update um the interface for the system update screen is changed everything is bigger and easier to view and before that i will take a screenshot and let's get this done download and install installation will continue when device system been used to install now tap resume So as you can see from here, the update size is 263 MB. So with the Android 12 beta 4, um, Google is shifting their focus to polish, performance and stability. So right now it's optimizing the apps. Previous update beta 3 was okay. I don't see any bugs, slight improvements. So with Android 12 beta 4, it has switched platform stabilities, which is, means all apps facing surfaces and behaviors are now final in Android 12. It's been a long journey. So with this Android 12 beta 4, we could be potentially waiting for the next final versions of Android 12 the stable and official Android 12 release for our Pixel device and we, be, we could be just one month, two months away to the official release so since the Android 12 beta 1 I have been making videos showing the, how the update progress is like and is it stable enough to update and so called being guinea pig so I can try and update my phone and see whether it could be running still stable and it would really cause any bugs or any crash which so far no thankfully so with android 12 i see significant changes with the software uh, google has been doing major changes with this update which i'm really really happy so i hope with the android beta android 12 beta 4 it could be potentially even better than the previous updates So the purpose of this video, I'll be just showing you how the Android 12 Beta 4 runs on the Pixel 3 XL. Is it stable? Is it smooth? Is it okay to update it? And how the update progress is like? So you do have be, you don't have to be worried that this update will cause any boot loop or any issues. So with this update, uh, I hope you, as the Pixel 3 XL users to see how the progress is like on this phone running on Android 12 beta 4 so far I've been making videos from Android 12 beta 1 and 2 3 and 4 so when the official release is out the final versions of Android 12 is out I'll make a very detailed video to show you every single new features and the battery life and the performance running on this Pixel 3 XL even if you are using Pixel uh, 3 XL 4, 5 it's good to see this update running on this phone see the progress see the performance boost see the new user, user interface and see all the changes that Google has done on the Android 12
It doesn't matter if you are using Pixel 3 series, 4 series or even 5 series. When you watch this video, you will see how the Android 12 beta versions run on the Pixel phone and how the progress is like and how is it like to be running on the beta versions of Android on the Pixel phone. I'll be showing you the new features, the performance boost and how Google has made this software great on the Pixel phones. So if you are still watching here, I hope you like this video. Consider subscribe to my channel CGH TV and give me a thumbs up and click the bell icons beside the subscribe button so you'll be notified with new videos. So whoever is watching right now and you have a Pixel phone and you are tempted to sign up for the Android 12 beta program, I will leave a link below in the description box. So if you want to update your phone, the link will be right there. I will provide the link for you to get enrolled into the Android 12 beta program. The process is really fast and simple. So basically you just have to, to sign up using your Android account, your Google account and you can opt in and out if you want to try the OS versions, the beta versions or you can even roll back to your stable Android 11 so only if you are, you are using Pixel 3 series onwards, newer versions then you will be getting the Android 12 uh, official updates It seems like it's taking quite a while to update the phone, as usual. I guess the norm since Android 12 Beta 1, the update takes quite a while to optimize. And also to take note that I said, and also need to take note that this phone, Pixel 3 XL. Uh, running on the Android 12 this is the last official update from Google so after Android 12 um, Google will stop providing update uh, on this phone so keep a look up and see whether Google will provide any more security updates after the official release uh, I own Google Pixel 1 and 2 uh, it's quite disappointing that Google as Google as the Android uh, company only provides up to 3 years update and with the recent Pixel 6 announcement although not the launch event is not out yet I really hope that Pixel 6 onwards provides more than 3 years of update I think 3 years is too short as people nowadays keep their phone longer and I think Google should try to provide longer Android software update and includes security updates so besides being secured and also updated with all the new features Google should, I mean users should be expecting better support for a phone that has been so at a very high price especially on pixel phones yep so i hope pixel 6 provides longer software updates i'm really looking forward but unfortunately it's not uh, released on in my country because from google website they never state my country so maybe in the future pixel 6 will be coming to my country so I will be still looking forward to the phone 
well Google Pixel camera is really good it's especially on this phone as a three years old sensor it could do better for uh, perf camera performance compared to newer phones so I hope Pixel 6 uh, will be outstanding I hope so and with the Google Tensone chip I hope that it will outperform more phones or maybe even all the phones out there Actually, I'm afraid of the screen burning issue because for OLED screens, uh, normally you will cause burning if you stay on a same background for a certain period of time. So just doing some swipe up and down, like the black background up and down, so to prevent some burning. So. Uh, So we are done and let's do the restart. So let's see how you can see that these pre-release versions may contain errors and defects that can affect normal functioning of a device. So to the more blah 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 blah. So let's get this started. Let's get restarted. Figure cross, hope everything will be fine. On the Pixel 3 XL. So the usual same boot animations I guess. Yep, no changes. Loading So we are done with the update and uh, as usual the prom to show you that this is an Android beta program running on my software pre-release versions of Android running on my Pixel 3 XL so I'm just gonna tap OK so you're done mm, that's beta okay in the next video I will be showing you the walkthrough of the Android 12 beta 4 or the updated so the build number Android 12 Alright, here we are. So what you're looking at is the Android 12 Easter Egg running on my Pixel 3 XL. So Android 12 Beta 4 finally give us the new Easter Egg. So I suppose this is what a lot of Android users has been anticipating for quite some time already. So in the next video, I will be doing a full in-depth walkthrough of Android 12 Beta 4, showing you the new features and updated changes in the UI elements and more. So don't miss it, so subscribe to my channel CGHTV and click on the bell icon beside the subscribe button so you'll be notified with new videos coming away. So do click the like button, give me a like and if you enjoy watching this video, leave a comment below, tell me what you want to see in the next Android 12 Beta 4 features walkthrough videos and you might be features too. So thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.